revs are up, and the gate is down at high point. Well, Tomac has the good start this time. It leads them oh, out of turn one. Baggett. And a big pile up. There's Roxon and Baggett in it. Uh, Roxon and Kilo Nicoletti in the 54, making his debut at Rockstar Husky. He's right in the center of that. That is Henry Miller on the 48. His first race back was just last week. Oh, Nick Pike. Uh, uh, Pike on the 34. Nicoletti gets away. Man, that is... You don't only see that many riders down, especially the 450 class, in the first turn. Taking full advantage. First really good start of the season for Tomac on that monster Kawasaki. And we're getting an idea of just how difficult this track is. That was tough. That's Justin Hill behind him. Hill making his 450 motocross debut. Race to 250 for Auto Trader Yoshimura and Joe Gibbs Racing Suzuki the first three rounds. It was a struggle battling just to get in the top ten. So there was some musical chairs as far as teams and positions during our week break. Phil Nicoletti moved from the JGR team to Rockstar Husky, so that opened up a 450 slot. They put Hill on that bike. There he is on the 46, and going after Cooper right now. And around the outside, he's going to hold it wide and make the pass. So there is Hill into the number four position. Well, it's already better than any running position we saw him run in the 250s. Uh, Basha, once again, doesn't do it. If you're not going to double that, uh, I would go to the inside. I mean... If you go the long way around, the whole point is to double and carry that speed down the hill. And you can see what it's hurt him because now it gives Muskin an option on the outside. How's this going to work out? Yep, oh. he'll have a better drive and the inside for the next corner. And Barsha, a little hitch on the inside there. Wasn't able to protect the line, so Muskin. Oh, Barsha <laughs> comes right back using this inside line. Great to see a track offering that kind wow. of action. Now Barsha takes a look over. He knows in the next corner, Muskin's on the inside. Over the finish line jump, Muskin able to seal it off for the moment. Battle is on here at High Point. They're going to drop down. Remember this inside line on this hill. It looks like that's where Tomac's going. Barsha was in that spot earlier in this race, and it was pretty quick. Muskan keeps working this outside to get on the inside of the next corner. Lost a little bit of ground. That outside didn't work. Yeah, it de definitely seems like the inside is, is a little bit deeper as far as a rut goes, but if you hit it nice and smooth and clean, it is quicker certainly than going the long way around. Pick the spot. Basically saying, find your spot where you're stronger, and then get close, and then basically pounce. Element of surprise is always uh, something that you want. Because what happens for, for Tomac, he knows now that Muskin's got to his rear wheels. But if Muskin drops back a little bit and then close up, he almost gets used to the fact that he hasn't lunged for attack. So element of surprise is something that can uh, can be a secret weapon. Oh, Tomac getting way over the back of the bike, trying to get the front end over those rollers. And they've got to deal with traffic again. You know, another thing is with left traffic, it's, oh, and, you know, that didn't help Marvin at all. Uh, oh, a lot of mistakes from the, these leaders. And, I mean, that's just a testament to how rough, rough this track is. And these, a lot of these ruts start in a straightaway and go all the way around these long sweepers and, and out of the next turn. And ruts on the takeoff of this one. Still close. Who's getting all the way on the edge of the track, trying to find some dry dirt. And going to run all that speed into the valley and back out. Another thing to keep in mind is with lap traffic, ooh, that probably hurt the foot a little bit, is the, uh, it's harder for the lap traffic to get out of the way. I mean, of course, if they ride up the access road, that helps. But see what the riders are doing. They don't even know, because there's no premier line. There's, right, there's top guys taking the inside, the middle, the outside, and they rut, so you can't just turn out of the way. You're stuck in a rut. Oh, this is Muskan close. ready to challenge him there, side by side. Outside line for Marvin. Let's see if it works on Eli. He's got the pass made. Marvin Muskan gets Tomac. Ooh, Tomac tried to get to the run on the inside. Marvin didn't leave the door open. And now Marvin goes to the inside, so he made this work. Last time around, he used the outside. It was not as effective. He learned. Well, this has got to feel good for Muskan, who did not perform part of the standard we expected the first couple of rounds. Yeah. Second and points, not bad. But he was not able to challenge Tomac like this in the first three races of the year. Now, we can probably bring up that there's probably not a lot of love lost between these two due to an incident at the latter portion of the Supercross campaign. Marvin Muskan headed uphill. And then he's going to make a left-hand turn. And for the first time in 2018, Marvin Muskan has won first moto here at High Point.